Howdy, folks, and welcome back to Pixar on the Crazy Folk server. Yeah, ooh, she jumps pretty high. <laughs> Done a little bit of uh, upgrading here in the base, just have a lot more storage, and started labeling the storage. Uh, I'd like to get to the point where I can use bigger storage, maybe, or be able to at least color code the storage so it's easier to remember where everything is, but um, larger. I, it, it, this one says documents. I tried using a bookshelf. I created a bookshelf and put it here. It doesn't store any paper doc. It doesn't store blueprints doesn't store these 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 title things these privilege certificates doesn't store any of that stuff so i, I demolished it i don't know what it's good for <laughs> um but we also went ahead and crafted the magic workbench and over here i got this in a drop a crucible uh i didn't have enough stuff to make one but i had enough to get it from a drop so <laughs> there you go outside i'm gonna go out that door yet because we've got a couple other changes oh yeah one was I had my flyers on the roof, and one of them... I sure hope he's still there. Um, well, we're about to find out. Um, one of them, uh, they were on passive, because I tend to like my pterodons to be on passive and not fly away. Uh, and uh, he, I got a message, one of them was dead. And I immediately, from inside the base, whistled neutral, so the other one would fight back, and came outside, and an Onik was up there. Uh, Onik must have come from one of the caves... Like that cave down there, or the one over there, or something. And uh, just have a little fun. But anyway, uh, the other thing I did was I decided to experiment with planting. And I had all those tree seeds. You guys are just like all over the place, man. I had those tree seeds that you guys saw. And also right here are uh, tinto berry seeds. Uh, and the cool thing about tinto berry and you know, all the different berries and the trees and things is you can just plant them in the dirt. As long as you have water. So I went ahead and made, put these stone pipe systems up here. And just every... You see that it has a range of three blocks. But basically every... With a two block gap, I put another another uh, water tap. All the way along here. And or Orville's down here. Uh, there must have been another fight then. Because Orville was up on the, uh, on the roof. And now Orville's down here. Okay. So, uh, good thing I put Orville on neutral then. Uh, yep, got some leather. Did some killing. Go ahead and drop that. I just haven't found a yet a use yet for um, that's weird. Mm -hmm. A use yet for uh, spoiled meat. I'm sure there is one, but I haven't figured it out. Uh, spoiled meat. There we go. So the noises these guys make, uh, and there's a packy in there. Oh my gosh. Uh, also, we, you saw the mine I was uh, digging in the last episode. I went ahead and put a building up around it, just so things didn't come down to the mine and sneak up on me. I made it double wide, and I'm going to just continue mining down there. I've been finding all kinds of cool stuff. i got a bunch of it on me right here. All this stuff came out of the mine. I've got tons more. I've been digging and digging and digging. Uh, I haven't done anything fancy down there yet. I've just been digging, basically. Uh, I'm not even down at the bottom yet. Uh, back off man is really tough, as you saw. Kick some butt. Uh, can take on almost anything right now. In fact, I've gone through a couple of the portals uh, with that guy because I feel a little safe with him that he can do things. But what we're going to do right now, actually, I want to unload all this crap, all this stuff that's on me. Let's hear magic components. Let's get rid of these crystals. Uh, extra crystals I don't have before. Here's ores. So let's go ahead and dump the ores. Uh, we got marble. We got all kinds of cool stuff. And I'll even put rock in the ore section. And the rest of the stuff's pretty light. So, Also, I made some of these. Well, now that I had the uh, cauldron, I made some of these potions. These healing potions. Restores a massive amount of HP immediately. Cannot be used continuously. I wanted to try that on an animal. If one of them ever got hurt. But I haven't gotten to that situation yet. So let's take berry here. And let's actually harvest all this stuff. huh? Let's do it. So let's harvest berries and trees. Berry with berry. Berry should be able to kill that packy no problem. I really wish I could continuously harvest instead of having to like pause every second to line up for the shot. Let me come back here, make life easier. There we go. I just want to run through and see all the trees and thatch. The thatch is from the ground, from all the stuff on the ground. It's not from the trees. But we get plenty of uh, tree seeds to replenish this forest. So this is kind of our, our uh, wood supply. Basically, I just harvest this whole thing. Come on. There it goes. It's weird the distance you have to get to this tree. You can't get right on it. It won't harvest it if you're right in it, if it's in your face. But uh, harvest all the trees, plant more seeds, let it grow in the water. There we go. 
I see these torches down here too. Uh, I made these thinking that they would be probably permanent light sources, but they're like arc torches. You have to put fuel in them, so I'm like, nee. I'll probably demolish them at some point. I'll probably wait till I get electricity or something that'll let me uh, uh, have a light source. I don't have to constantly run to every every part of it and refuel it. So I'm just going to harvest a bunch of this stuff and, and replenish it, I guess, at some point. But I just wanted to show you guys this stuff. It's really cool. And thanks to Scott uh, in my comments on the video telling me that the reason I got knocked off my, my mount when I was flying over there the one time, when I got knocked off Orville and had to, had to tame up Wilbur, who is now dead, sadly, Rip Wilbur, uh, is because there was an electrical storm. I said there was an electrical storm. I said it, it, didn't, it didn't seem like it was anything unusual. And apparently the electrical storms have a chance of hitting you with lightning. And they will basically knock you unconscious. It, it doesn't. Ha you don't have to be in the in the air. They could be on the ground, and it might do it. So uh, apparently, that's exactly what happened. Now, I also noticed. Let me see what this little thing is. What, what are you? What, what's your quest? Kill a me? I've already done you. I don't need to do you. And go away. I don't want you here. Um, there is another thing in the inventory you can make to prevent that from happening. Uh, let's see if I can. If it's made here, I think it's not made here. Uh, candle helmet, leather. Candle helmet. Where to light up the area? That candle helmet looks interesting for the mine. I've got this guy on my shoulder, my light bug, but a candle helmet would be kind of cool. Let's go over here and see if there's a helmet over here. There's a helmet that lets you um, resist lightning. Uh, lightning protection helmet. There it is. I just need some fiber, some fibre. Uh, where's my fibre? Documents. Fibre. Can I combine you guys? There you go. All right, I'll put my fibre over here. And uh, I keep wanting to put it in there like arc. You can't do that. It just takes it from you when you're trying to construct things, which is just weird. I just, I can't get used to it. All right, so I've got this out. And if I, uh, and my armor, this helmet that I found the drop is really cool. Well, it's 10 armor. It's not like super cool. This one is only five, but you know what? I'd rather not pass out in the lightning. So I think I'll take that and wear that. Let me see what this looks like. Well, it look, <laughs> it's got a little lightning rod on top. That is cool. Uh, that's awesome. I think we'll wear this then. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue harvesting the rest of this forest and replanting. So I'll be back. I just flew around looking at some drops and I got some really cool stuff, including this gun that I'm holding, but a whole bunch of cool stuff. Um, by the way, I've gotten a... Uh, minigun turret in a previous one and there is some kind of a train or something there's this mini train a track that can take you wherever you want i tried placing it i don't understand how it works i guess we'll get there eventually uh some cool saddles a centaur saddle a crossbow for taming i'm going to use the crossbow instead of the irregular bow i've got an industrial cooker or cauldron in their case uh they call it um a better compound bow that might even be better than the crossbow uh more arrows Middle arrows, uh, regular rifle bullets. I've got gasoline. I've got a couple of lamps I got from drops. I got a ballista. I got those light bullets. Um, I got some sleepy darts. And I also got a, a Mastercraft steel sickle for getting fiber. That's going to be awesome. And a primitive steel pickaxe. I didn't even have to make that. I upgraded from iron to steel. I had bronze before you guys saw or copper. I had upgraded it to iron, and now I've got steel. This one's still iron. Um, but like I said, that gun is really cool. Um, let's see here. Anything else that's really interesting? I don't think anything else that's really interesting from the drops. But I did get that gun, and I, I've, been, I've been shooting some things, and I figured, why not bring you guys back? Because this thing is awesome. Watch this. Look at that. 922 on that Pteranodon, but that's all it took to kill him. It's not that that's all it does. Uh, that's Packy, for instance. Boom. 615. Another one over there. Oops, missed. Boom. Only 410. Took to kill that one. It's just really cool. And I killed a mushroom over there in two shots. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to have to start making my own ammo for this thing because I'm running out now for my drops. <laughs> Well, I think it's awesome. Uh, I need to get... Uh, I want to upgrade my wand. This is the most basic wand. And I was looking at the different wand capabilities or, or possibilities here uh, for harvesting the uh, magical uh, ores. 
And the next one I could probably get is this apprentice wand. With a, it needs a zombie heart. So I was hoping a zombie would respawn over there. That's why I took the gun out and shot the uh, mushroom. Because that, that spawn seems to rotate, flip between a mushroom and a zombie. Um, we've got a bone wand. Which if I get some RG, kill an RG, which should be easy enough to do. I should be able to upgrade to this one. I don't know which one comes first. Let's look at the Ingrams for wands. Uh, they're not going to be here. They're going to be under magic, I think. So a shining wand comes from a... Uh, you have to kill a Pegasus for that. This is a wood wand. It's the basic. Then the apprentice, like I thought. I thought, And then the bone becomes the next one up, uh, which just needs an RG feather. And then this one needs a Pegasus as well, this master wand. This will probably be the best out there, the best one. Uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Probably the best one. So the bone one would be a goal. Apprentice one for sure. So if I can kill the zombie, I can get an apprentice. If I can go kill an RG, I could probably get that one. And I need to get more of this uh, this wood, this bark stuff. Uh, not this. Uh, not that. Uh, this bark right here. And I think I can get that now because there's uh, I'm not afraid with the raptor. <laughs> he, I am not afraid to go into the uh, magical forest anymore with back off man because he can kill as long as you're not being you know confronted by multiple uh, things at the same time he can kill anything in there um, it, t it takes a little while sometimes it takes a few bites but uh, I found that he's pretty pretty potent I'm, I've got him up pretty well so I think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna look for an RG or a zombie has that zombie respond uh, not, not yet <laughs> Uh, we'll look for one or the other and see what kind of wand we can get. And I'm back. Um, you know, with the attack of the on the bird, I went ahead and built this. <laughs> I just cleared. I spent the last many too long, way too long, uh, clearing this land. There used to be uh, grassy hills and rock and stuff over here. I just flattened the whole thing to the same level as the house, all the way out to there, and built this structure to house my dinos. It's kind of dark right now, but you can see my got my dinos in here, and of course, uh, trees and things are still respawning, even though you have construction nearby. So this tree just decided it's going to be here, and it's always going to be here no matter what I do. Uh, so the flyer is protected, Orville's protected. Nothing can theoretically get in here. Nothing, I don't think, spawns in here. No animals. Hopefully, I mean that's one thing we got to worry about as well. But I've got my raptor. I've got back off man here, um, and I think we're going to take a look at that zombie down there. You see him? Right down there, off to my right. See him down there, just hugging, hey, hugging the the rocks. Yeah, I think we're going to say hello and see if he gives us what we need. Um, I'm going to go ahead and level up, back off, man. And he health is I can I can replenish with meat right now. So weight is okay, stamina is okay. I'm going to go damage again, and we're going to say hello to this uh, this zombie. Now he's not terribly tough. Zombies are not terribly tough. One bite, he's gone. And I did not get anything that I wanted. Dang it. So it just gave me normal stuff. It's not giving me what I need. All right, well, I guess we're going to have to go get some RGs then if we want to get that advanced wand. So it's time to go get the Pteranodon and go kill some RGs. Come on, Orville. All right, here we are in orange RG land. <laughs> oh, Pegasus! Ooh. I need a Pegasus thing, don't I? How tough are Pegasi? Ah, that's going to be an interesting question. Uh, hopefully they're not aggressive. Let's fly up near one and see what their skull rating is. They are... Not too too tough. I wonder if they flee if you attack them. Let's find out. Oh, they do. And we got one! Did we pick anything up from it? Um... I didn't see anything. I don't see a chest, although there is a meat box there. Let's grab that. And we got light magic. But I don't think we got anything related to a Pegasus, really. No, nope, light magic stone. Okay, so we're going to need to kill some RGs. Uh, I saw a couple. There's one right there. Give them a fight here. They'll fight us, of course. And we killed them. Uh, we didn't get RG feathers. Hmm. Did he drop a chest? No. Hmm. I guess we're going to have to kill a bunch of them until we find them. Alright, what can we give this guy? Uh, I've been giving him some stamina. I've been flipping between stamina and melee. I got the melee above 1,000, so I think I'm going to get stamina up to 2,000. 
Just so I can fly longer and attack longer. And we're going to kill a bunch of RGs and see what we can do. Come here, RG. Come follow, follow me, sir. Kind sir. Kind RG, sir. There we go. We get anything? No. All right. I guess I just keep killing them. Oh my goodness! I was flying along, killing RGs, and I saw a chest down here, and I landed and looked at it, and guess what it had in it? Pegasus horn. Apparently, I did. What are you? Oh, what are you? Good question. What is that thing? Oh! Oh my goodness! We're getting the heck out of here. That hurt. A lot. Wow, that hurt. That thing didn't look terribly tough, but that magic really hurt. Alright, we got the Pegasus Horn. That'll give us one of the good ones. But I still want to get that RG thing, man. That RG feather. Alright, let's look straight down here. Did a chest appear? There is a chest! There is a chest! And yes, RG Feather. Yeah, we got one. We got a Pegasus Horn too. We didn't get a zombie thing though. So, but anyway, let's let's fly home. I've got I set a a flag. If it, look at my hut up there, my little uh, compass. There's two blue flags. One of them is to uh, Scott and Scriptar's place. The other one is to my base. So all I need to do is look on the map, figure out where I am first of all. I'm way over here. So, Scott and Scriptars will be here, mine will be here. So, that's my flag. So, basically, I just line that flag up in the middle where my little pointer is. And we'll just fly that direction. And I should come up on my base. Oh, a spider. All right, time to see what kind of wands we can make. Hello, light bug. I need a better light source. I really do. Um, I hear tell there's some temples that uh, might have items including light sources as you can get. I haven't found one yet. I've flown over this map and I haven't found a temple, so I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, um, we're looking for the wands. Am I on the wrong, I'm on the wrong one again? I keep going to that one. All right, wand. We can make a shining wand because we have a Pegasus horn. Um, <clears throat> this one requires an Argent RG feather, which we have now. This one requires a Pegasus horn master wand. Uh, silver ingots. I think we have some silver ingots now. And we need more bark, though. Hmm. I want the master wand. I really do. All right. Uh, silver ingots. There we are. We have enough. That's 30 or whatever of them. So we should be able to take all of that out. And stick it in here so it can be pulled. And I've also got this stuff to put away in the chests as well. Um, should we throw the glass in here? I don't think that's where I'm putting glass, but you know what? I'll just throw it there for now. Uh, there's the RG Feather. Uh, let's throw this stuff where it belongs just to get it out of my inventory. And I do need to go, like I said, and get some. I'm going to make the RG one. Uh, I'm going to save the Pegasus one for the Master. So, Wand. So this one, I'm going to go get the Bark. See, I've got enough of everything else. I just need the bark. And you know what r really sucks, guys? I had four magic trees out here planted, and I went to harvest them with the uh, trike, and all I got from them was wood. So I thought, I think maybe, I needed to harvest them with my axe by hand. But I, So I went and planted six. I had six more seeds. I went and planted six more. See, these are all magic dirts. Uh, I don't know if they're... Well, I can right-click on it. Magic dirts. I planted six more, and then I flew away, and I came back, and they were all dead. I mean, they were just gone. Um, before, I just needed to water them, but now they're just gone. I don't know if it's because I left uh, out of draw distance before they had gotten to a certain level of maturity, or if a patch broke it, or what, but that kind of sucks. So anyway, uh, I do need to go get more bark. Now, question. I know I've, been, I've done this like six times now. The RG one. That one. The bone wand. Um... Am I going to use up any of my resources? I just need magic fiber. I am going to use up bark, but I don't even have enough bark for this one. So I just need to go get a, bu a bunch of bark, it looks like. Okay, well, I'm going to add this to my ingredients. That thing, the RG feather, and the unicorn, or Pegasus horn. Unicorn. Did I say unicorn? No, I think I, I might have said unicorn. I meant Pegasus, of course. Yeah, I'm going to go get more bark, so I have to go to the magic area and harvest. And I should actually take the trike so I can experiment and see if the trike will harvest it or if I need to do it by hand. Hmm, okay. 
All right, taking the trike into magic lands, I'm going to record this just in case something really bad happens, which probably will, because he's not really that tough. He's tough. I'm going to attack. I can hear things. I can't see anything. Okay. That's coming after me. He does. The trike. Yeah, there we go. Nice. The trike does have the nice knockback that trikes do in arc, which I find really nice. Hey, hello. I'm looking for brains or whatever you guys give me. Can you see if you give me one, please? You give me brains? Uh, did you give me brains? No? I put this in here, the healing potion, because I'm going to experiment if I get hurt. Oh, I did get hurt. Let me, let me experiment. Yes! It heals quite a bit, but not fully. But it's good to know that it's there for the uh, the herbivores. For the healings is... Okay, so this stuff is magic tree... I think this is the magic tree stuff. Isn't this magic tree stuff? Let's see. Uh, nothing? Okay. Uh, we'll harvest this by hand. See if it gives us anything. Come on, get off. Uh, get, get, get you off there. Go back to first person. Yes, see, you gotta do it with the axe. You can't do it with the trike. Okay. That's good to know. Um, now that it's kind of safe here, I'll harvest some more of these trees and head back and we'll make that wand. Ooh, there's another one of those panther things. All right, so my two trips back to the forest got more of the seeds, so I planted more trees. This one I planted first, before my second trip over, and it started to actually take root and grow. So it's in the growing stage. These are in the growing seedling stage. This is a growth stage. Hopefully these don't vanish <laughs> on me. The rest of them at least don't vanish on me. Uh, okay, so I've got enough stuff, I think, to, I can actually probably make both wands, but why would I make both wands? Um, I try to just make the best wand of all, right? I hope the best wand of all. The master wand. All right. Um, do I need to fuel this? Oh, no, craft item. There it is. Boom. Master wand. You get replaced, you silly little wooden wand. Actually, we should probably compare them. All right, let's uh, let's take the wooden wand, which already got popped itself down into six. Let's head down to the mine. What are you flying around for? Let's head down to our mine real fast. Our mine, mine, mind, mine, mine. Real fast here. <clears throat> See if we can find something to mine. Hmm. Have I mined at all? <laughs> uh, I think there is some still some stuff left. Here's some quartz. It'll probably lead to something good. Uh, nothing visible. Let's go dig the quartz. So we'll use four for that. Our, our trusty iron pick, which is just one hit wonder here. To get through the quartz so that I can expose potentially something else to mine. Okay, we've got this, which is an emerald cube. Now, emerald cube's suggested tool is wood wand. A uh, iron pickaxe will harvest them, though. So I don't need a wand. However, we're gonna see, we're gonna compare the two. We're gonna go to six here for the wood wand. We're gonna see how many hits with the wood wand it takes. Two, three, four, five, five. All right, how many with the master wand? But, oh, it takes ammo? What? Uh, crystals to use more powerful magic abilities with advanced magic crystals. Um. Um, weapon magazine ammo one. Um, will those work? No. No, we got to figure out what the ammo is, guys, and then we can do our test. Okay, I grabbed a whole bunch of stuff here, and using the trick where if you drag it over here, it should highlight to indicate you can drop it over it. Uh, these guys don't work. None of these work that I've been able to determine, but these do. The stone essence. Okay, so how long does that last? Um, hmm, is it like a charge thing? Or once I've put something on it, does it have that magic? Because I put the water magic on it, so I guess that's water magic? Let's see if this works as a, as a weapon first before we... There we go, bunny. Here you go. No, no oh no! Yeah, each one is a shot. Oh, that... That sucks. So is this wand not... You... Uh, this thing is so close to my door. 
found it in a drop. All right. Um, man. I mean, I've got others, and we can try it for the for the down downstairs thing, for the harvesting, uh, just to see. I would hate for it to use one of those for each, because I, I won't use it for that <laughs> if that's the case. All right, it's got one left on it, one water left, because that's what I had put on it before. Let's head down here. It's just a quick left and a UE, and then another left. Kind of a hairpin turn here. All right, if we come down here. We go down here, we go down here, and there it is. All right, how many shots will it take? I am affected by magic because I was too close. What does the effect say? The power of water makes you feel cold. Okay, well, that didn't seem to do anything at all. So I don't think this wand is used for for mining. Uh, I hate to waste another one, but we will. Because I found these things in drops, so... All right, yeah, they're not uh, they're not used for mining, so that's a cool wand. Uh, it's awesome that it can be powered and stuff, and it can do magic, but um, it's not uh, useful for mining. So <laughs> I guess I will try to make the RG wand and see if that can use that one for mining. But uh, for now, guys, I think that's gonna do it. Look at that cool wand. Look at that thing. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.